board meeting to discuss damage at the Barrier Island schools just started. We've reported on parents at Sanibel School with students frustrated that their kids once again have to attend class off island. Some also want answers about bus routes, saying students have been stuck on hours long bus rides. They went so far as to write a letter to the governor for help and they're attending today's school board meeting, which is going on right now. Wink News anchor Annette Montgomery is there live as well. Annette, what response do parents hope to receive from the district? Well, Chris and Lois, parents tell me it's simple. They just want to know how bad is the damage to their child's school and a timeline of when students can return. Now, the district couldn't give me an answer to that second question, but as for the first one, they say inspections reveal damage that must be addressed. The parents tell me if they keep receiving those type of emails, their children will no longer attend a school in Lee County. It's fair to say for some Sanibel school parents like the fields. I would have thought that they would have learned after Ian, um, but unfortunately that's just not the case. This isn't their first rodeo with Lee County Schools, but they're prepared for it to be their last. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that this is something that we're gonna have to deal with every year if a hurricane comes in. Um, it's unfortunate because the barrier islands get left behind and I don't really understand it. After reaching out to the district, the school board, and even the mayor and city council, they went a step further. I immediately went to DeSantis because I knew dealing with a school board, same school board from Ian, that if we didn't say something or do something or ask our governor for some help, then it won't get done timely. It won't. And he built the causeway back in three days. He could probably figure out a couple rooms at Sanibel. It's not just an issue of where these children are going to school, but even the ride there and back. Friday, they ended up going out to Sanibel. They never stopped at the bus stop. So then they had to turn around and come back. You know, both days they were on the bus for over two hours. It's awful for the kids. The kids are getting off the bus crying, upset. The older kids are, you know, calling their parents going, we don't know where we are. The school district of Lee County told me bus stop locations have not changed. The regular bus driver has been out sick and sometimes there are greater delays when a substitute bus driver is present. But parents tell me if this continues, they'll be busing their kids to another district. And that school board meeting just started minutes ago behind me at 6 p.m. I am told parents will be in attendance and make their voices heard during public comment. Wink News reporter Maddie Heron is inside there right now and will bring you the latest updates on Wink News tonight. Live in Lee County, Annette Montgomery, Wink News. All right.